your naked face. I'm going ahead and applying a BB cream for the skin as I can build up the coverage as I go along, making sure to alter it to how I want it. I dot it all over my face using my fingertips and then buff it into the skin using a flat top kabuki brush. You could use your fingers to warm up the product and rub it into your skin instead of spending money on makeup brushes if you wanted to, but I just prefer this method. In areas that need a little extra coverage, I put a tiny wee bit more product and kind of press it, press it into the skin where I need more coverage, which is around my chin area where I tend to get a lot of spots. Then for the eyes, I did cheat for this step I'm afraid. I took a MAC Paisley paint pot all over the lid just because I don't have a drugstore primer, but you could use your normal everyday concealer if you'd like to. So apply that with a flat synthetic brush and then kind of warm it into the, into the eyelid with my fingertip. Pack a black cream base all over the moving lid of your eye and by moving lid I mean the part that blinks when you move. This is where you want the darkest part of the smoky shade to be on your lid. You want to map out the shape and then fuzz out the edges using the tip of the brush. This is going to ensure those black eyeshadows we're going to put on later to be as dark and as black as possible. Once that's done, take your black matte eyeshadow and pack it onto where you just put that black cream base and it should look pretty much the darkest black it could possibly be. Then this is the most tedious part of this look but I promise you it's all worth it in the end. You need to then blend and fuzz out those edges using a small fluffy brush. This may take you some time but I promise you it's all worth it in the end. You could apply a transition shade before you do the cream and the black matte on the lid if you wanted to but this is just the kind of process that I went for in this look. Then you can either use a brown if you want to but I went for a kind of slightly shimmery silver if you wanted to you could use a dark brown a dark black anything you want to really for the black smoky eye but this is kind of the original black smoky eye and then with a fluffy brush and a bit of translucent powder I blended out the edges of where I put that grey because I went a tiny little bit too far up onto my lid. I applied a tiny bit of liquid liner and then started on the concealer under my eyes to clean up any fallout from the eyeshadows. I'm applying it in a triangle motion under my, under my eyes to really brighten up that area and patting it into the skin as I'm using a cream concealer for this. I'm applying it as a highlight as well just as a subtle highlight in the centre of my forehead and then buffing it in with the same brush we used to apply it. Then I'm going to start on a tiny bit of cream contouring, just a little but enough. I'm kind of just going to saw out, that sounds gross, but saw out my cheekbones on the tops of my temples and down at the sides of my nose. This is going to give a slimmer appearance to the nose, make my cheekbones more prominent and make everything look a lot more put together. I started blending out my nose using my Sigma flat top kabuki brush and then realised it's going to take ages so I just used the warmth of my fingertips and my ring fingers and kind of just patted it into my nose. For the cheekbone area I like to brush upwards in little buffing motions just to blend it up towards the cheekbone because you don't want to bring that contour too far down. I really like the tiniest bit of this contour, I just think it adds that extra something without it being too Dark and applying this to my eyebrows. I don't have any special steps for my eyebrows, which is why I've never done a brow routine. If you do want to see a more in depth version of how I groom them, shape them, look at them, do them, you know, all that kind of stuff, then please leave a comment below and I will get round to it for you. All I really do though is just take a brow powder, fill them in, and then set them in place with a brow gel.
then you want to go ahead and curl your lashes for some extra oomph to your eyes and apply plenty and plenty of mascara. If you don't want to apply falsies, I suggest you apply lots and lots and lots of mascara. If not, then don't worry about it too much. Once you've applied the mascara, I decided to go onto my lower lash line. I took the same dark grey colour and applied this under my lower lash line using the thin side of my eyebrow brush and then blended it out using a fluffy brush so it's a lot more smoky. But you can't have a black smoky eye without dark rimmed eyeliner. So I took my Maybelline gel eyeliner on a artist brush and lined the inner rims of my eyes to make everything look a lot more intensified and dark and smouldering. Lining the top inner rim of your eye really makes the eyelashes look longer and everything look together because you don't have that awkward white line in between your lashes. Then you want to go ahead and apply some mascara just to your lower lashes to balance out the eyes and apply some falsies. I am so proud of this shot, you have no idea how hard it is to film putting on false eyelashes, it's really difficult so I'm really proud of this angle guys. <laughs> anyway, so all you want to do is just let the glue dry, place it down in the middle of your lash and then just tuck the corners in. The best tip I can give you when applying false lashes is to really take your time and make sure to let the glue dry just for a long, long time, about 45 seconds with most eyelash glues. It really, really helps the application. Then you want to go ahead and bronze up your skin. This step is optional really, but I just think it adds the extra something to your face without it just being completely blank and just 2D like. Then you want to go ahead and contour your cheekbones. It really adds that extra dimension when you put cream on and then powder on top of it. I'm only doing a light contour today. I'm using the Sleek Face Contour Kit in light. I say contour really weirdly. Then for lips, I'm going to go in with a bright Barbie pink lipstick just for the fans. Just for the funniness of the pinks. Yep. This is a W7 full colour lipstick and this is my I'm ready here to party done. I hope you enjoyed guys. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next tutorial. Love you guys. Bye. Hi everyone. So I'm just walking to meet the photographer and Natalie from Style Hall. I'm actually 